Hey guys, um, just want to talk about something that comes up often that I've realized, you know, and I'm sorry if I look like I've been crying because I have been and this is going to be a very vulnerable video for me. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through it, to be honest. Because I'm very emotionally charged right now. But I do think that I have something important to say. So I'm going to take it slow. And I'm going to try to like not break down. Um, it's like so... Honestly guys, like it's so rare for me to like actually cry. Like... For me to let myself cry takes a lot and like i actually got to that point just now and i was like this is something i should talk about but i think about this often so you know if you've been if you follow if you know me or you've been following me um watching my videos you probably know that i grew up with three older brothers and um and then when my parents split, I lived with my dad. So naturally, it kind of, it, it instilled a lot of masculinity in me to be raised like that, you know? And these are things you realize once you're older. Cause obviously growing up and being a, a little girl or a, te a teenager even, you just assume that's just how you are or how people are, right? But, and don't get me wrong. Like I was still a girly girl. Like I liked getting ready and all that. Don't get me wrong. And I had girlfriends, but but my mentality was much more masculine, you know? On the outside, I loved dressing up and all that, but like internally, I held myself on a very masculine, at a very masculine level. Like I never once, I never once, like I would notice like my friends would be like, oh, I can't wait to get married and have kids and you know, and I never once related to them. Like, I never saw that for myself. And if anything, I would just dream of, like, even growing up as a little girl, like, I remember telling my mom, like, oh, mom, when I'm older, I'm going to do this and this and that. I never once said, like, I'm, I'm going to get married. I'm going to have kids and have a big family. I never once was that type of girl. I was the type to be like, I'm going to be this, or I'm going to do that. And like, it was all literal, literally all career goals. Um, and, and I always knew from a very young age that I wanted to be self-sufficient. But the thing is, when you're at this level of like, self-sufficiency and and you learn how to take care of yourself. As a woman, that, like me working to a level where I'm trying to accomplish career goals and like taking care of myself, has distanced me so much from my femininity. Okay. Like, at the end of the day, I'm tired. Like, I'm so tired of of this feeling of like having to be so like, I don't know, like I, I have to be so driven all the time and so ambitious. Like that's not my feminine energy. That's not, that's not what a woman should be. Okay, let me calm down. And maybe, and you know, it sucks because sometimes I just wish that I had wanted a simple life. I wish, 
sometimes I wish I had just wanted to be a wife and be a mom like that's it and not that's not to say that that's not hard work because I I know that's hard work too like I can't even imagine like how much work a mom has to put in but I, I kind of it's it's so weird to me to feel like I, I feel mad at myself almost sometimes or like resentful that I have such big goals for myself because it's just exhausting like having to always think of like I have to get there or like it's exhausting like I just want to rest like I want to be a woman you know I just want to be free that's my that's I think as women I genuinely believe that is our nature like we want to be free we want to be I don't know we want to be taken care of and I, I want to have space to, to be a woman, to be chaotic, to be, to have more feelings, to be able to be like this more often. Because like this, as much as it's, you know, some people may see it as weakness, like it's not. It's strength to be able to like be with your emotions and cry it out and like, you know, move on from that. And I don't do this often. Like it's so rare for me to actually be able to sit down and be with my emotions and like cry it out. But I feel like I see a lot of, especially on YouTube and on Instagram, any, anywhere on social media, really, you're going to see a lot of, you know, girl power, girl boss energy and like being a woman who can take care of her own. And as much as I can see, I, don't get me wrong, I'm so, so grateful to have my own place and be able to pay my own bills and all of that. Like, I'm so grateful for it all, okay? Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I, I'm grateful and I'm proud of myself for getting to this point. But I think there's a side to it that is never shown. And I think that side is the side that I'm showing right now. Like, I don't think I'm the only independent woman who takes care of herself, who feels the way I'm feeling right now. I know I can't be the only one because at the end of the day like if you're doing this as a masculine it's different than doing it as a feminine it's so different because as a masculine I think that's what men want to do they want to be able to provide they want to be independent and you know say that one day they'll be able to take care of someone how they're taking care of themselves but as a feminine it's like I want to be taken care of. I want to be, I want to not have to worry so much about all these goals I have in mind and everything that I want to accomplish. Like it's so exhausting. So I think, you know, if you really see a woman who is taking care of herself and has her own and you're looking up to her and you're saying like damn I want to get to that point because I was that girl like I would look at those girls like who got to where I'm at when I was younger right I would look up to them and be like I want to be like her you know and I want to have my own and be that bit like bad bitch and you know I think I have gotten to that level and I'm just getting better and better but at the end of the day like no one showed how exhausting and mentally draining that shit was gonna be like they'd never show that side on social media you just see the like girl who has it together and she takes care of herself you know and it looks nice from the outside I bet it does and then and it, it, it is nice to live alone at the end of the day that is nice but you know, there's a side to it where sometimes, and I, and I I have these thoughts often, like, I don't always break down about it, but I do have these thoughts often where I'm just like, why did I have to be someone with such high aspirations for myself? And as beautiful as that is as well, and it's going to get me far, I know it is, but at the end of the day, it's also like, I don't know, I wish... I wish I didn't have so many aspirations and so many goals and I wish I wasn't as driven and, amb and ambitious as I am. I wish I was more in like, I wish I could reside in my feminine more and just stay there, you know? But then it's, it's done because either way, like had I, 
because I know you could say like, oh, well then just do that, Cynthia. But the thing is, if I if I did do that, like if I actually did go get married and had kids, like that lifestyle would drive me crazy because I am who I am now at this point. Like this is how I was programmed and who I need to be because I have so many goals and, and dreams, you know? And I feel like that's the life I have to maintain. Or I don't know, maybe I just need to go to fucking therapy or something and like work that out, you know, and like learn how to be in my feminine more. But it's just hard to say the least. I just wanted, I just wanted to show the side that like social media doesn't show anyone. Like you just see, and and you know because I and I'm part of it too. Like I definitely encourage girls to get their own right and take care of themselves. But I just also want to make it make my make it very um, known that to get to this point, there's also going to be so much hardship. Like you're gonna feel alone a lot of the time too, and you're gonna feel so tired sometimes. Cause like even for example, living alone, like I'm working and then I come home and then you know if you if you value having a clean place you're gonna clean as soon as you get home you know and cleaning is every day you have to clean up after yourself every day and then on top of that I try I try to cook for myself too because I don't want to spend by eating out so by the time I'm done with that like that was my whole day I'm working I'm cleaning I'm eating and then I work six days a week so it's like every day is like this you know and it just gets taken away by me having to be responsible and, and managing tasks every single day and it's exhausting and another part of and like i just wish like sometimes i just wish i had help you know like and then that's what that's when i get to the point of thinking like damn like i wish i was just comfortable with being a housewife you know because i wouldn't have to ha have to work right now and I could just maintain the house clean and like eat healthy, eat, cook healthy meals and eat good, you know. But another part of that self-sufficiency is like, it's so hard for me to ask for help. Like being that I've come as, that I've gotten as far as I have. And I've been independent for such a long time. It is so hard for me to ask for help. And I wish that wasn't the case because I shouldn't, like I should ask for help. But it's like so, it's actually so hard for me to ask for help. And even if it was offered to me, it's hard to accept it too, you know? So it's like either way, it's just hard. It's hard to, to, to like give away that independence to me. Sometimes it feels like if I ask for help or if, it were, or if it's offered and I accept it, it's taken away from my independence, you know, which is so dumb. Like, I shouldn't think that way, but I do because it's, like I said, I've been programmed that way. But honestly, I'm not going to drag it out to be any longer than it needs to be. I just do need to show that as I am speaking about being someone who, being a woman who takes care of herself, I'm going to make sure that you also see the other side of it because it's not all, you know, she's a bad bitch and like she's, she's, she must be doing amazing because she has it all taken care of. It's not, it's not all good all the time, you know, but that's with anything. I just wanted to show this side of it because I don't feel like it's shown enough. I think that if you do want to be the woman who has her own, you have to understand that like. It's going to take so much sacrifice and so much of your time. And you're probably going to feel distant from your feminine energy. Because feminine energy does not work six days a fucking week. And 
you know does everything for herself that's not your that's not natural feminine energy you're gonna be in your masculine a lot more of the time than you are in your feminine so if you do look up to those girls who have it made and are working towards goals and higher aspirations just know that this uh, most likely these type of moments and realizations are going to come with it and you're going to be lonely sometimes and you're going to be like I said you're just going to be in your masculine a lot of the time but it's funny because at the end of it the reason why I feel like I'm working so hard is because the end goal in mind is actually to be able to have passive income to where I don't have to work like this and I can be in my feminine all day, every day. So while I am in my masculine so much right now, the goal is to, like I have to be in my masculine right now because the goal is to be able to not have to work as hard as I'm working so that I can live in my feminine and not have to depend on a man to be able to do that. You get me? Like, I think if I had chosen to be in my feminine, fully this early on in my life I probably would have had to be married and be taken care of by a man already right um that way I didn't have to work so much but my goal is to be in my feminine fully but because I allowed myself to do that like I allowed myself to get to a point where I don't have to work anymore because I have my own passive income that's coming in um and I don't have to worry about working so much so then I can be in my feminine and I don't have to depend on being married to a man or having a family in order to be free, you know, or be free of, yeah, be free of work, you know? So I understand that this is a very conscious choice. Um, and like I said, I'm grateful for everything that I have, but I do just want to, it out there that as much as I do encourage women to be go-getters and be ambitious I don't believe that that is feminine energy and I do think that if you're a feminine energy who wants to go for that life you have to accept that you're going to be in your masculine majority of the time um and it's going to be hard because if you if you identify as a woman you know that your natural essence is femininity, but in order to get to a point where you're taking care of yourself, outwardly, you have to put out a lot of masculinity. So I just wanted to like not be, you know, a hypocrite and say like, oh, this is how women should live. Like they should be go-getters and be ambitious, but then not show you guys the other side of it and the other side of being independent, you know, because everything comes with its opposite like if you're gonna have the good about being an independent woman which is like living alone and, and not depending on anyone for your own things you're also it's also gonna come with the bad right just like anything else in life so I just wanted to put that out there and also just like put my feelings out there because like I said like I feel like it's hard for me to ask for help and shit but it's also very hard for me to put my feelings out there. But YouTube has definitely helped me out a lot. And, and I feel like the sub subscribers that I've had so far have been so supportive and so sweet to me that I know that this is just going to be met with an energy of like even more support and love, you know? So just know that I appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate the fact that YouTube has allowed me to feel you know, open enough to be able to say these things. And I just really hope that at the end of the day, it really helps, you know, girls think this through, you know, like what life they want for themselves because everything comes with good and bad, like I said. So if you watch this, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. It feels really cringe to cry in front of a camera, to be honest, but I was just feeling what I was feeling and I don't have any regrets and I am going to post this because I do think that what I said is valuable, you know, so 
Thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all.